Good morning. Happy Friday. Even if it's a rainy Friday, uh, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Uh, happy Friday. Um, for our psalm reading, for our uh, reading this morning, I want to look at uh, portions of Psalm 116. Uh, this, this is one of the psalms that appeared in the cycle of daily readings. Psalm 116, verses 1 through 4, and then uh, I'll be picking up later in the psalm. I love the Lord, for he heard my voice. He heard my cry for mercy. Because he turned his ear to me, I will call on him as long as I live. The cords of death entangled me. The anguish of the grave came over me. I was overcome by distress and sorrow. Then I called on the name of the Lord. Lord, save me. Then skipping to verse 12, what shall I return to the Lord for all his goodness to me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Precious in the death of the Lord is, or is the death of his faithful servants. Truly I am your servant, Lord. I serve you just as my mother did. You have freed me from my chains. I will sacrifice a thank offering to you and call on the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. Um, what struck out, what, what stuck out for me was the uh, the expression, the expression of gra of gratitude. Um, the psalmist uh, talks about being uh, on the on the point of death and crying for mercy. Uh, he called on the name of the Lord, save him, and he was saved. Um, and and his and his response is thanksgiving. I will sacrifice a thank offering to you and call on the name of the Lord. Um, and he ends by praising ends by praising the Lord. Um, and so even during this difficult time, uh, it, it, it is a difficult time. Uh, we we miss, we miss church. We miss a lot of our normal activities. We miss seeing each other, although we see each other online. Um, and yet, even so, uh, we, you know, we, uh, God has preserved our lives even during this difficult time, and so uh, there, is, there is cause for thanksgiving. And also, that line, uh, "Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of His faithful servants." Um, a number, a number of, uh, a number of faithful servants of God have passed away uh, from the from the pandemic and for, from various other causes. Um, and we know that they are in God's safe in God's safe hands. They are in God's presence, where there is light and love forevermore. Um, let us pray, Lord. We thank you that when we are overwhelmed and when we are feel ourselves on the point of death, that we can cry to you, and you hear our prayers and you answer our prayers. And we are grateful that you have brought us through thus thus far. We pray, as we always do, for an end to this pandemic. We pray for those healthcare workers and researchers who are combating it. We pray for those in authority, the, gov the, the state governors who are having, and, and, uh, muni and municipal leadership who are having to make difficult decisions um, about, uh, about reopening or not reopening uh, their, uh, their, their economies. Um, and we pray that you would grant them wise and prudent and cautious judgment uh, that you would that you would guide them that they not act rashly. We pray for uh, the first responders, fire and police, um, often working without adequate protective gear, uh, watch over them and preserve them. We pray for the essential workers in retail and public transportation and so many other places, Lord. Uh, Again, we're often working without the gear they, without the protective gear they they need. Uh, be their protection, O oh Lord. Watch over them, provide for their needs, and guide their steps and guard their paths. We ask the same for us that you would guide our steps and guard our paths. And all this we ask and provide for us. All this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, we will be having our normal uh, 10 a.m. Uh, Sunday service 
Of course, we'll, I'll have the daily devotion tomorrow, Saturday, and then we'll have our normal 10 a.m. Uh, service. Um, the, uh, the the text is from Luke. It's the account of Jesus' encounter, of Jesus uh, walking with the two disciples on the road to Emmaus and being re recognized by those two disciples uh, in the breaking of bread. Uh, so we hope to hope to see you Sunday. Thank you.